Hello and welcome to video presentation of Data Warehouse and Business Intelligence Prototype presented by Alexei Nikolenko, students of National College of Ireland, studying towards Master of Science in Data Analytics. Source files are in Excel format 97003 and consist of Yahoo index of uh, Isaac, Irish Stock Exchange Index, Twitter Sentiment Analysis Scores, organized in time series, and multiple oil products prices, again organized in time series. ETL is automated for full loading of the warehouse and is divided into several sequence containers according to the logical design of the process. We start off with clearing out the constraints, truncating tables, then sourcing the data from the original Excel files into staging area of the data warehouse. From there, filling in the dimension tables, filling in the fact table, adding primary key, foreign key constraints to relevant tables. Data from here flows into analysis services multi-dimensional cube which is based on fact table and relevant dimension tables time dimension was made on the server and was referenced to the cube by way of referential relationship this allows me to roll up the cube data according to the hierarchy inbuilt into time dimension. We will try and deploy the cube successfully. Data from the cube flows into the reporting services. In front of us there is a report of a relationship between brand crude oil and Isaac index and the relationship is fine except this obvious outlier which I intentionally put in here to demonstrate the flow of information through the warehouse. In order to remove it we will have to go back first we'll refresh it to show that that's it's there yeah. we'll go back to the source codes open up the file and know where the outlier is put in a new value close the file now we will need to run the ETL process fortunately it's fairly easy and if we refresh the report, we see the outlier disappear. As a case study, we can see here a strange relationship between prices of oil along different years and Isaac index of, of shares. Another interesting uh, case study resulting from this warehouse is the relationship between the crude oil and one of its byproducts diesel and we can see there's a similar trend but the trend changes when the prices price of oil goes up or goes down significantly so we see the diesel is not so prone to changes as is oil. Thank you.